when you're talking about making uh, amines, it's often very useful to talk about enamines. All these M's and N's, <laughs> they're very confusing. Okay, enamines. <clears throat> okay, what are enamines? We form enamines by reacting an amine plus a carbonyl compound. And that's exactly what, where we started with, with an imine. To make imines, we use a primary amine. For an enamine, we're going to use a secondary amine. And our product is going to contain, what? It's going to contain, contain an alkene plus an amine. So we're not going to make a carbon-carbon-nitrogen car, double bond. We're going to make a carbon-carbon double bond. So what does this look like? We're going to take a secondary amine. So always secondary. And we're, well, let's just react it with another carbonyl compound, aldehyde or ketone. Actually, tip more often a ketone. And again, we can do this in methanol and... Um, that's not really what I wanted. We're, this is our enamine. So you can see this is, um, it contains an alkene and an amine, called an enamine, and the side product is water. And again, with the Chatelier's principle, since we form water, if we remove the water as it's formed, we favor the right-hand side of the equation. If we dump in a bunch of water, we're going to favor the left-hand side of the equation. So if you want to make an enamine, don't do it in water, or else you're going to be disappointed. What's the mechanism of this look like? We will take our secondary amine. I'm actually not going to walk through this whole mechanism because it's just like the imine mechanism until we get to the end. Once we get to the end, we're going to do something different. So if we go through all the same steps. The amine is going to attack the carbonyl. We'll do some proton transfers. We'll kick out our OH minus. And that will take us to here. Great. And we have hydroxide floating around. Now, we've never seen this. this is called an iminium ion. We haven't seen this before. So whenever you encounter something new, we ought to try to relate it to something that we do know the chemistry of. And as it turns out, this aminium ion is in resonance with the carbocation. Well, we have a lot more experience with carbocations. Carbocations have two fates. They either get attacked, we're not going to attack it, or they lose a beta hydrogen. So here's our carbocation carbon. We have two hydrogens that are beta to that carbon. And so our hydroxide or, or our solvent methanol can come in and pluck off one of those hydrogens. Whoops, did not want to put in that bond. And that's going to make a new carbon-carbon double bond. It's very E1-like. Um, lose a beta hydrogen to a carbocation, we make an alkene. And so what do we have here? We will have formed water plus our enamine. So by using a secondary amine, we set it up so that we don't have a hydrogen on the nitrogen. In, in, the, in the imine chemistry, we had a hydrogen off nitrogen that we could pluck off to finish a reaction. But now we have to remove a hydrogen from a carbon. And that gives us, forms us an alkene. So let's see an example of this. We might take, this is a really simple secondary amine called dimethylamine. We'll react it with cyclohexanone. We'll do this in methanol, again, not in water. And we will, if we go through the mechanism, we will form an enamine like this. The alkene happens to be uh, within a ring. It's okay. It's nothing special. But we make it this cyclic enamine. Um, and, of course, we're going to lose water in the reaction. <clears throat> so enamines are really important in, as we talk about amine chemistry.